Hi guys, it's Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be reviewing a foundation. And for this episode, I will be reviewing this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and also the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. If you want to know my thoughts about these products, please keep on watching! Alright guys, for this video, I will be doing a wear test. But before that, let me tell you something about the product. So, itong Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, I believe is not yet available dito sa Philippines. That's why I got it online. So, I got this one from Shopee. And the online seller is Kikai Street. So this one is for 550 pesos and this one is for 400 pesos. This foundation has a lot of shades pero since hindi nga siya available sa Philippines, meron lang mga available shades sa mga online stores na makikita nyo. I'm in the shade Buff Bisque. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation is in a glass bottle and then the lid is in plastic. When you open the bottle, you'll see the applicator, which is a spatula. It's not like any other foundation na pump ang gamit nila. And the consistency is runny. For the scent, there's no harsh scent naman dito sa product na to. Ang amoy niya medyo creamy, ganun. Parang regular lang na foundation. Just for reference, my face is combination skin. That means on my T-zone, it's oily. But on the rest of my face, it's normal. So, matetest natin siya sa oily skin. And also, since our weather here in the Philippines is humid and medyo mainit na kasi magsa-summer na, we're also going to test dahil pawisin na ko talaga. We're going to test the longevity of this product. Without further ado, let's go to the application. Okay guys, so I put toner and moisturizer first on my face. But on this side of my face, I placed the Maybelline uh, Baby Skin Pore Eraser. And then for this side, wala ako nilagay na primer. First, we're going to put the primed, primed? The face with primer. Malabnaw siya, malabnaw. So that's one dip. Uh, from the spatula and I'm going to use my sponge for this side of my face. Medyo na cover up niya yung mga veins ko dito. Pero tingnan mo natin. Okay, so this is how my face looks like with one dip of the spatula and then this one wala pa ako nilalagay. So far, I can see na medyo sheer lang yung coverage niya. Be-blend in ko na lang siya para hindi siya mag-cake. Baka kasi mag-cake yun. So, ayan na siya guys with two dips with the spatula. Medyo natakpan niya na yung uh, dark under eyes ko pero meron pa rin siyang uh, discoloration dito. But, I think this is medium coverage na. Medyo kumapal na siya tignan, but it's still lightweight. I'll try it first dito sa other side of my face using a brush bago natin siya itry na patungan uli. So for this side of my face, I'll be using this um, foundation brush. Ayan, ubos na siya. Well, using the brush, mas concentrated yung kulay niya. Obvious naman sa neck ko, masalata na na may foundation tong right side ng face ko. So, ayan na siya guys. Isang dip lang siya doon sa bottle. Medyo naging ano na siya, uh, medium coverage. Nabawasan yung lines ko dito. But still, uh, yung dark under eyes ko, hindi pa rin yun nakocover. So, siguro lalagyan ko na lang siya ng concealer mamaya. I'll go over na lang with a sponge para medyo pantay sila. Okay guys, so I think this is fine already for me. And now we're going to set this one with the powder. I'm going to use also the Wet n Wild one. So this powder is in the shade Warm Light. Parang translucent na rin yung dating niya. So babrush lang natin siya sa face para lang maset yung foundation and hindi siya gumalaw. Pero nag, ano na siya, nag dry up na siya. Kasi diba kanina sobrang malabnaw siya. Ngayon, Para na siyang matte, pero hindi ano eh. Medyo may pagka ano pa rin eh. Tacky feeling, pero hindi siya yung nakakairita. So, ayan guys. 
nung nilagyan ko siya ng powder, mas nagmukha siyang flawless sa skin mo. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll get back to you. Alright guys, so I'm already done with my makeup. And so far, ang flawless tignan ng mukha ko. Especially dito sa part na to na medyo malalaki yung pores ko. The side na may primer, tsaka yung wala, parehas lang silang flawless. And I didn't put concealer already. Feeling ko okay na yung foundation sa under eyes ko. Nung nilagyan ko kasi siya nung wet and wild na powder, mas dinamihan ko siya sa, sa part na to. And it brightens up my eyes na. So, hindi na ako naglagay ng concealer. It's already... 1.30, but I applied the foundation at around 1 o'clock. So we'll start the time at 1. Let's do the wear test! It's a bit hot today. I'm sweating around my nose area and dito sa my chin. Oil is starting to build up already on my nose, but it still look nice. So far, foundation is still intact. Sa my nose area lang nabura. The nose area, the chin, and the forehead is starting to build up oil. And ngayon, visible na talaga yung oil, especially sa aking nose. Okay guys, so I'm ready to give my final thoughts. So before I go on to that, ibablot ko muna itong oil ko sa face. Sorry ah, this one is from the side na may primer. And then this one, doon sa walang primer. Ah, medyo lumamang lang ng konti yung side na walang primer sa may nose area. Talaga namang sobrang oily nun. And may transfer siya. So medyo nabura na yung part sa nose ko. But now, it looks okay again. Alright, so for my final thoughts, First is the price. So this one, I bought it for 550 pesos. Talaga namang nandun na sa range na yun yung mga magagandang foundation, di ba? Hindi ka na makakakita kasi na sobrang-sobrang mura talaga. Coverage, this one is from medium to full coverage. Na-cover niya yung mga veins ko as well as yung redness sa aking nose area. Hindi masyado na-cover up yung dark circles ko but it's good enough kapag kasama mo yung powder. Longevity, 5 pops. Nung nag-blot ako, parang ganun pa rin siya. Nag-oxidize siya sa akin kasi acidic ako. And now, mas maganda na yung ano, para na siyang uh, second skin na yung dating niya. Kahit super flawless pa rin siya. Also, hindi siya actually nag-crease or nag-settle sa fine lines ko. Nag-start lang siya ng konti. Kung ano yung itsura niya kanina, ganun pa rin siya. I think it's the powder too. Kasi nga, parang na siyang translucent powder. Ganun na yung ano, sobrang fine talaga nung powder. Packaging, I'll give this four pops. The packaging is in a glass, so medyo delikado siya kapag travel mo siya. But the applicator is a spatula, which is very nice. And then you just get the product that you need. Application, five pops. Since it was easy to apply, overall, I would really recommend this wet and wild photo focus foundation as a dupe for some high-end foundation na medium to full coverage for high for half the price of those high-end diba that's it i hope you like this video if you have any suggestions on what you want to see next please leave it in the comment box below i would love to review some other products na affordable din and maganda yung quality if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my contents. Also, click the bell button beside it so you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll see you next time and don't forget, smile! There's always a reason to be happy. Bye! Bye!